what was done to Kat to make him do that. So Kat isn't the only one spilling facts anymore and more and more people are coming forward to back up everything that he has been saying about the industry and just how dark it gets behind closed doors. Recently, Orlando Brown has come forward to back up the comedian and confirm all that Kat said, not only on the viral Shaman Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast, but also everything that he has said about the industry before that. Kat has been on a rampage recently, exposing every big name in Hollywood for their shady dealings behind closed doors. He has been speaking up about the Illuminati and the elites and this time it seems like Orlando Brown is backing up all his claims. The comedy world is nothing to play with. And since, you know, Richard Pryor left us, God rest his soul, it's more like, you know, everybody's trying to be Richard Pryor. Now we know some of you might say that Orlando Brown has not been in the best state of mind lately and that he's been saying all sorts of crazy things. But listen to him carefully, it might just be a mask to be safe. And didn't Dave Chappelle also say that whenever the industry wants to shut someone up they start calling him crazy so the truth is dismissed? Well, it looks like they're doing this thing with first Cat Williams and now Orlando Brown. In a recent interview, Orlando said that a lot of people don't respect Cat the way they should because the things Cat says are almost always true. And, and I can't put myself in position to not understand why some people just don't have the, the kind of respect for Cat that they should have. He also said that there's things going on behind closed doors that the public doesn't know of and that it's a dark, dark place, just the way Cat described it. Cat also recently revealed about the things that have been going around in Hollywood, especially among comedians like Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, Tiffany Haddish, Kevin Hart, and so many other names. It looks like Orlando has seen all these things too, and now he's ready to expose them. You're watching The Celebrity Hyped and in today's video we are going to be talking about how Orlando Brown seconded Cat Williams and opened up about who wants him dead. But before we get to telling you about all of that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. There's a lot of people that have no respect for the game of comedy. And there's a lot of people that, now, what, before I go deeper, I will say that I don't, I, I, it's none of my business. So you guys all probably know how Cat Williams is always making headlines because of his controversial opinions and hot takes about the industry. He's always been the kind of guy who isn't afraid to speak his mind and always says what's true to him. Well, recently he has been on a rampage, exposing big names in the industry left and right. You all have probably already heard of his Club Shay Shay interview where he even named names of celebrities and comedians. He not only called them industry plants and joke stealers, but also said that they were untalented and sold their souls to the Illuminati in exchange for fame and fortune in Hollywood. Now some of you might think this is insane, but not one out of the many big celebrities that he exposed have been able to clear their names so far, and Kat had receipts. Anyways, it's safe to say that Kat isn't exactly fond of Hollywood, and his reason for that is all the things that go on behind closed doors in the industry. According to him, the Illuminati controls everything and he doesn't get along with them. He had to learn this the hard way. He said in an interview that he had to be punished by these people several times before he realized just how powerful they are. I didn't understand that. They had to sting me a million times. I'm still not going to join, but I respect it a little more. He also mentioned how the reason the press hates him so much is because the Illuminati hates him. But why do they hate him? Well, according to the controversial comedian, it's because he didn't want to abide by their messed up rules. He didn't want to be a part of them and instead he started exposing them. So they started to paint him as some crazy drug addict. Some of us are against the Illuminati and we are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. Mm. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them and nobody likes them. Even Dave Chappelle, another big comedian in the industry who doesn't get along with Hollywood elites, said that that's their best way of shutting someone up when someone is speaking the truth. Calling someone crazy is dismissive. Now we've seen this being done with Kat, but now that Orlando is also speaking up to expose the industry, they're starting to call him crazy too. But what did he say that made all of this happen? What exactly did he expose about the industry? Well, in his recent interview, not only did he back Cat Williams, but he also had some words of his own to share. 
and fans have been reading him a little too well. And we think we finally figured out what the deal with this guy is. And no, it's not what you think it is. But hold on a second, before we continue on with the video and tell you more about that, do us a little favor and share this video with a friend who might enjoy our content or someone who loves Cat Williams. So in a recent interview, Orlando said that people in the comedy industry aren't good. What he meant by that was that these people don't respect the craft. They're not even funny. There's a lot of people that have no respect for the game of comedy. And there's a lot of people that, not, what, before I go deeper, I will say that I don't, I, I, it's none of my business. And even Cat Williams has said this. According to Cat, a lot of the big names like Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish are just industry plants by the Illuminati put in place to put forth a very specific agenda. These people are not successful or funny, but they've made deals with the elites and that's why they're on top of the game. Orlando Basics confirmed all of this. But that's not all. He also said that people don't respect Cat Williams as much as they should, especially considering the fact that he's doing something so brave and important. We mean, we all know what happens to people who go against the elites. The Hollywood elites would go to any lengths to make sure their secrets don't come out, and Cat is taking a huge risk by exposing them like this. But hold on, there's more to talk about here. Now we know what some of you might be thinking. That Orlando not only has mental health issues, but he also has problems with substance abuse. But that's exactly what the elites want you to think right now, remember? In reality, Orlando recently had a mental health evaluation, and although the results weren't perfect, they were promising. And for those of you saying that he was probably high or drunk out of his mind when he took the interview, earlier this year Orlando swore to have a sober year. So the man has been working on himself a lot recently, and he's certainly not crazy. He knows what he's talking about, but then why does he act crazy sometimes? Well, there's a good reason for that, and once we tell you, you'll realize just how smart he is. But you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. According to a lot of fans, Orlando isn't crazy, but the reason he acts like that sometimes is to protect himself. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you guys, let us explain. Remember how we talked about the elites labeling someone crazy whenever they're telling the truth, just so the truth is dismissed? Well, Orlando is one step ahead, and the reason he acts crazy is so that the elites don't see him as a threat. Because remember what happened to Cat when he crossed them? A man was chasing him down the street with a gun in his face. And, and, and remember, they, they tried to kill me this same weekend. Not in jokes, with a real in my real face on real camera. Understand I'm losing my life for participating in something that goes along with my job. Like, just two comedians, what do you mean? And, and the world was okay with it because it was me. Now that's no joke, and Orlando is working smartly. He spills the truth but mixes it up with something crazy just so he stays off their radar, but smart fans have seemed to figure it all out. One fan even urged the others to notice his patterns. The way he speaks and everything, he's perfectly fine during normal topics and conversations. But as soon as someone who's part of the elites is brought up, he starts talking crazy. But even when he's talking crazy, he says something that makes a lot of sense. Next time you watch the guy talk, keep an eye out for this and you'll see what we mean. Every single mayor needs to figure out what the f they want to do before I there should be grapes, turnips, vegetables, everything on the streets every day for the homeless to eat. Do you think Orlando acts crazy on purpose just so he doesn't get caught spilling the truth about the industry? What do you think Cat Williams is going to say about this? Who do you think is going to come forward next to expose the industry elites with Cat Williams and Orlando Brown? Let us know all your thoughts and predictions in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. And with all of that out of the way, as always, we will see you in our next video right here at The Celebrity Hyped.